Marcy Keckler, Ameriprise has been surveying retired baby boomers, and they found that 76% said they felt in control when they finally pulled the trigger on retirement. So what should I make of this number? It's great news. What it tells us is that this first wave of baby boomers to retire are entering retirement in the driver's seat and they're able to retire on their own terms. One thing that was very interesting was that relatively few of these first wave baby boomer retirees told us they had to retire because of a health event or early retirement or job loss from their employer. So great news, they're deciding to enter retirement on their own terms and that helps them feel much happier. Another interesting fact was that over half of them said that they were emotionally ready and physically ready. So I guess you need to be ready in both Body and mind, right? That's right. Body and mind as well as finances. And so what we saw was that those who said, I felt physically healthy, that I knew how I was going to spend my time, and I had made the right financial preparation, those things came together to have the most satisfied people in retirement. And speaking of spending your time, 62% said they felt confident they could keep their hobbies in retirement. And I guess that's what it's all about. You want to enjoy yourself in your golden years, right? That's right, absolutely. And in fact, when we said, what caused you to pull the trigger and decide now is the time, what we learned is that for over a third of them, they said, I just want to have more fun. I want to have more time to do the things I love. So those connections and ways you stay engaged were just critical for satisfaction in retirement. And speaking of connections, one of the hardest part for the boomers that you surveyed was losing those connections. That's right. When we said what made it hard to retire, two-thirds of people said there were some things that were difficult and top of the list was people said they missed their connections with their colleagues and that those social interactions at work were something that they needed to find a replacement for. So hence, it's really important that people focus not just on financial but also emotional and social preparation to have the most confident possible retirement. You gotta be prepared to be retired. Thanks a lot, Marcy. That's right. Thank you, Greg. And thank you for watching the street.